Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see a problem on chain drive. For that here we have a question. It is given that in a chain drive teeth on sprockets are 50 and 15. The distance between centers of sprockets is 600 mm and the diameter of bigger sprocket is 300 mm. Determine number one velocity ratio, number second length of chain required, third pitch of chain and fourth the diameter of smaller pulley or smaller wheel. Here in this case as I have read the question, again I'll be reading the question in steps and we are going to write the data first. So let's get started. In the data, first mention the type of drive. Here it is chain drive. In a chain drive, teeth on sprockets, it is given as 50 and 15. So I'll see, take this 50, that is the first teeth as the driving sprocket. So that will be T1 driven sprocket is 15 then the distance between centers of the sprockets is 600 mm that is denoted as x and the diameter of the bigger sprocket is 300 mm so the diameter of the bigger sprocket which is having teeth t1 is d1 is equal to 300 mm then the question is to determine velocity ratio VR velocity ratio is nothing but N2 upon N1 that is speed of driven sprocket upon speed of the driving sprocket first question second we have to find the length of chain next the pitch of chain and at last the diameter of the smaller wheel which is D2 so these are the questions in front of us in the solution part let us start with the velocity ratio formula Since the velocity ratio formula for chain drive is given by velocity ratio is speed of driven sprocket upon speed of driving sprocket and speed is inversely proportional to the number of teeth. So here it will be T1 upon T2. I'll highlight the formula here. T1 is given it is 50. T2 is 15. So from this the velocity ratio comes out to be the answer which I have it is 3.33 that's the first answer. Next after getting the velocity ratio I'll go for finding the diameter D2 and I can say that D2 would be calculated once I know the pitch. So first I'll get the pitch then D2 and pitch would be calculated by using D1 and T1 and that can be written in this manner that since the relation between the driving sprocket or you can say the PCD of driving sprocket and pitch is given by D1 is P cosec 180 degree divided by T1 this is the relation between the pitch circle diameter and pitch and how this relation has been derived for that you can refer my previous videos where I have given this relation now the value of D1 is known which is 300 and T1 is 50. So from this I will be getting the pitch D1 300 pitch is what we have to find out T1 is 50. So from this pitch comes out to be it is 18.83 mm. So that's the second answer. Now once the pitch has been calculated I can go for the calculation of D2 which is the diameter of the driven sprocket using the same relation I can write down similarly D2 is equal to pitch into cosec 180 divided by T2 highlighting the formula so therefore D2 will be pitch is same 18.83 cosec 180 degree divided by T2 is given 
it is 15 so from this I'll get the answer of D2 and it comes out to be 90.57 mm that is the pitch circle diameter for the driven sprocket third answer next once we have found out the velocity ratio pitch and the diameter of the driven sprocket I'll go for the length of chain and the formula is length of chain is equal to pitch into k k is called as the multiplication factor I'll keep it as equation first and go for finding k that is a multiplication factor pitch is known to us putting the values in equation 1 will give us the length of chain so I'll say therefore the multiplication factor k is given by t1 plus t2 divided by 2 plus 2m plus into bracket cosec 180 divided by t1 minus cosec 180 divided by t2 whole square divided by 4m this is the formula then therefore k will be t1 is 50 t2 is 1515 divided by 2 now comes the part which is what is this m value see here m is nothing but the center distance x is given as m into p where m is the constant p is the pitch so therefore m becomes x upon pitch x is given in the problem center to center distance which is 600 mm divided by pitch 18.83 so therefore m value comes out to be 31.86 and it doesn't have a unit it is a constant value so I'll be putting the value of m plus cosec 180 degree divided by T1 which is 50 minus cosec 180 degree divided by T2 which is 15 whole square divided by 4 M M is 31.86 so when we are going to calculate the values this first term would be it is 32.5 next this second term it is 63.72 and here the first term into the bracket it is 15.93 this second term is 4.81 and here this value in the denominator is 127.44 now when there are cosec terms how to calculate this first find sine of 180 upon 50 then when you get the answer of sine of this term after that take the reciprocal and you are going to get the value of cosec for both the terms then finally the answer of k comes out to be 97.19 and this value should be rounded off so it comes out to be 97 mm so once I get the answer of K which is known to us I'll be putting both the values of P and K in equation number first so therefore put the pitch and the multiplication factor K in equation 1 so we have the length of chain as pitch is 18.83 into k which is 97 so therefore it comes out to be 1826.51 mm or 1.826 meter that's the fourth answer so when we look into the problem briefly here it was given we have to find the velocity ratio and that velocity ratio answer came out to be 3.33 then 
पिच एंड डी टू पिच वॉज एटीन पॉइंट एट थ्री एम एम एंड द आंसर ऑफ डी टू दैट इज द डायमीटर ऑफ ड्रिवेंस प्रॉकेट नाइनटी पॉइंट फाइव सेवन एम एम फाइनली द लेंथ ऑफ चेन एंड विच केम आउट टू बी वन पॉइंट एट टू सिक्स मीटर एंड विद दिस द प्रॉब्लम गेट्स कंप्लीटेड